Cancer, how are you? Welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell, Cancer, if at any time you resonate with this reading. Forgive me. Please go ahead and hit that like button. Please remember to take what resonates and leave what does not. It is so common for certain things or sentences, I may say, to not resonate fully with your story. This is for a large collective. Also, cross watchers, you may need to flip the roles. Um, I've also been noticing, and I mentioned this in Gemini, I've been noticing that sometimes the masculine of a sign will need to flip the, the roles as well. <clears throat> so just keep that in mind. Um, I'm not sure why all of a sudden that I'm doing a reading. I am getting a tickle on my throat and I can't find my water. Maybe there's something that you're struggling with expressing and or communicating or you sense that somebody is not being honest with you. Um, there could be somebody here who really isn't speaking their truth and they need to. It's going to start creating blockages for you. Um, any information questions you have about me, Cancer, will be in the description box below. Be sure to check out my Instagram, which is in the description box uh, below as well. That's a tongue twister. Um, I don't post tarot on Instagram, but I do monthly giveaways. And uh, tomorrow, November 30th, will be the end, the deadline of my giveaway. And this month, I'm giving away my Heart Chakra Intention Oil Clear Heart, as well as a Tiger's Eye Point. So if you're interested in that, go uh, to my Instagram. You can find the post to enter. I'll be announcing the winner November. 30th in the evening sometime and I'll also be going live on November 30th for Taurus Aries and Scorpio placements and doing a collective reading and sharing a testimony so make sure you tune in all right cancer let's see what's going on right now in your love life what messages do we have here for cancer all right you have flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others and then you have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So there's somebody here that you have feelings for. Maybe that's what I was feeling with your throat chakra, right? There's like communication that needs to take place. Um, spirit really wants you to, to kind of, I feel like explore these emotions that you're feeling to try to understand them and gain some type of balance over them. Um, they're like, somebody here just doesn't understand why they're feeling this way. It's kind of what I'm feeling. Like, is this real? What is this? And Spirit's like, it is. You, you know, there's some feelings being exchanged here between you and this person. Um, be lighthearted. You don't have to be so serious all the time. Is also what I'm getting. All right. What's the current energy, please? Current energy around cancer. You have the high priestess. Yeah, you're trying to gain some type of information or somebody could be watching you online or vice versa. Six of pentacles. The emperor. Somebody's about their business right now and they may be doing it like, they may be traveling three of wands or you're doing it kind of secretly. Somebody may like do a lot on a laptop here. I don't know why I feel like this is all wireless. And a lot of you are really being led by the divine here right now. Yes, yeah, wireless. Three of wands. Like, where am I going? What am I doing? There's some type of like wish fulfillment or manifestation that's coming into your life to restore balance here. Something that wasn't receiving a lot of... Um, Somebody who's getting shortchanged in a situation. What is this emperor? This could have to do with work for some of you. Nope. Two of cups and temperance. So there's an emperor here. Somebody's about their business and they want a, they want a relationship with you. But let me get a full. Tell me about this emperor, please. Three of swords and the page of cups. So somebody's heart is broken. There could have been a third party situation here. There could also be a pregnancy or children involved here. Um, there's definitely distance or travel. Like somebody wants to walk back towards a fire sign. Maybe you have Aries and Leo energy here. Somebody is not emotionally available. That's the current energy. And I feel cancer like you're so intuitive that you can sense something is off. And there's this desire to want to bring balance to a situation. 
Like this person could just be very closed off because they're heartbroken. This is something that could be new for some of you and it like struggles getting off the ground as well. What What is this high priestess for the current energy? Two of wands. Yeah, you have to make a decision about a situation and I feel like that's something that you're trying to do within. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, definitely about a love connection. And maybe you're closing something off and trying to move forward. Like there's definitely three energies here. So you could obviously could have a past that you're dealing with and then there's something else that's coming in. It looks like there may have been some type of love triangle as well that um, caused a lot of confusion. This is what people forget is energy is so palpable. Okay, and so whether you think you're hiding um, a third party or not, whoever that's for, you're never hiding it. That energy travels and it creates dysfunction in all the connections that you have, you know? And I feel like that's what this emperor was doing. All right, what's coming towards cancer, please? In love, what's coming towards cancer? The fool. It's time to release some emotional baggage, taking a leap of faith in a brand new direction. Some of you could be moving out of the city or you're just not near a city. Cause see how it's like in the background here? Yeah, five of swords. This leap of faith means you gotta stop talking to certain people. And I feel like you don't care anymore. You're like, okay, bye. Yeah, you go over something a lot here. Five of swords, four of cups. You're not sure about taking this, this leap of faith. There's something that you're just sick and tired of dealing with. And there, there's a new opportunity that's presenting itself to you. And look, be careful that you don't sleep on it. I was just going to say that too with this. Like you're too busy looking at the past and seeing what's going on with something in the past that you don't see this offer coming in from, from the most high. So you don't make sure you don't miss an opportunity. Like you could be sleeping on a bag, sleeping on an opportunity here. Yeah like a long-term opportunity. Why is the five of swords here for what's going to, there's going to be some type of argument here. Two of pentacles, yeah. Somebody's definitely bound, um, juggling more than one, more than one person here, okay? Empress is here, so there's definitely, um, and I've been seeing this a lot in readings, and I have to say it, yes, there could be a pregnancy. If pregnancy doesn't apply to you, there's there's a, a period of fruition, things coming to, to fruition, manifestations coming, creating and building the life that you want with a lot of hard work and intentions. There's a message coming towards you that I feel is gonna be painful. It's gonna be painful, whatever this is. And it causes you to go back and forth and to feel kind of out of place. And I'm just the messenger here. What is the intentions of this that's coming towards cancer, please? What is the intentions of this? Oof, the seven of swords. Deception is being revealed. Nine of wands. What is the intentions of this, please? The lovers. Somebody's worried about this, King of Cups. Somebody's worried about this energy, the Seven of Swords energy, like they're prepared for battle. I know that sounds weird, but that's how it's being shown to me, like very, very defensive energy here. It's because somebody's being sneaky. What is the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Wands for the intentions, please? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you're going to learn something. There's some type of it truth that's going to be revealed to you, some type of information that you're going to find out about, Eight of Swords, that's coming at you very, very quickly. Somebody could also be facing jail time or legal issues here, but somebody's traveling. Who? What's going on? Somebody's on the road. Somebody may ride a motorcycle, but you have the Eight of Wands and the Chariot, which is you, but it's like vacation, travel, I don't know. Somebody may be tied up with this. They can't, they can't come towards you. You may go towards them. 
Cancer, I don't like this energy. I feel like somebody's trying to keep a secret from you. And so this, the intentions of this is somebody wants to tell you something with the Page of Pentacles, some type of information and or an apology. And there seems to be a defense on it. Tell me about this Page of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Wands, please. Healing the inner child, the butterfly, transformation. Keys on a ring. Many options, stringing along, one night stand, sudden change, shocking news, upheaval, epiphany, and the grim reaper. Some, you're going to find something out that's going to change your mind on a situation completely. And that's how you know you're growing and transforming. All right, what does the Holy Spirit want Cancer to focus on, please? What should Cancer be focused on? The Seven of Wands and the Page of Swords. Be careful who you share things with. Don't tell a lot of people your business. Um, I feel like this is really about protecting your peace and protecting your energy. Yep, the Five of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles and Judgment. There's a lot of conflict and competition around you. And I feel like spirit wants you to focus on focus on keeping your peace. I don't know who these five of wands people are that want to cause drama and problems for you, but I see you really just needing to nurture something. So it's like you're building a wall up. You're very defensive. You've got very strong boundaries. It's, I feel like you're limiting somebody's access to you. Like you can't know what's going on. Like this page of swords, you're giving them a, just a little bit and it's causing a lot of conflict here. And so you have judgment and spirit wants you to focus on really reflecting on a situation, really trying to see something from a higher perception here so you can make a decision. What is this five of wands, please? What is this about? This could just be nine of pentacles. <laughs> Somebody does not want you to be single because I, whoever this is, Cancer, they know that the, the fight is over you, right? But they know that maybe there's another direction that you want to go or there's something that you're going to do that they won't be a part of. And so there, it's like fighting tooth and nail, trying to prevent you from being on your own, trying to prevent you from being independent, trying to prevent you from creating whatever it is that you want to create because you've got it. You've got it in you to do it. And I also sense this could be some type of jealousy with money or work. Like all of a sudden, if you've got a new job or you're doing well for yourself, it's like somebody here is not okay with it. And you're going to need to put your foot down here in a situation and really state your case or like set a firm boundary. It could be an air sign here. You have Gemini energy on the table, but you, you got a lot of swords on the table. But again, there's somebody here who, who there's too much energy that they're connecting with and it's creating problems within a situation between you and them. You could have children with this person. What's the outcome for cancer, please? The page of cups, the knight of pentacles, the ace of pentacles, And the Six of Cups, wow. Water and Earth. Um, I just see you moving towards a situation that maybe you thought couldn't happen. I know that sounds weird, but that's how it's presented. It's like with the Page of Cups, I almost feel like there was an element of like, that's never gonna take place. It's never gonna, I can't do that. That's not gonna work for me. And I see it taking a long time and you really trying to weigh your options here and come up with a decision and a choice. I think you really have to clear out something from your, from your past, but there's an opportunity here that's showing to be very, very fruitful and long-term like stable. It's like a, we water each other. Tell me about this two of pentacles, please. Yeah, seven of pentacles, eight, nine. So just being patient while something grows. That's what it is. You're weighing your options, but you're not in a rush to make a decision. And that's actually frustrating to somebody. 
is really frustrating to somebody. But the, the reason why is because you, I almost feel like you're using this as a time to observe everyone's actions or reactions. And however that other person is behaving is making you realize like maybe I shouldn't be investing in that anymore. Okay. What is this page of cups? Knight of Pentacles. Tell me, give me one, please. Yeah, the tower. Eight of Wands. Yeah, this is something that comes out of nowhere. You may shock people with this decision. The Hierophant. It's, it's commitment, all right? That's Taurus energy, Ten of Cups. It's, it's, it's long-term commitment. It's something different. I don't think people are expecting this from you. It may even shock you in the choice and the, the decision that you make. But there's an element of you knowing that it's for your highest good. That's why it says your feelings are real and worth exploring. All right, throat chakra. Yeah, you got to talk. Somebody's got to communicate here. That was exactly what I felt at the beginning. You are not crazy. You're just awakening. Change your focus. You're blocking your manifestations. Messages, please. This is a soulmate that you're dealing with. That's why you feel this way. So there could have been spell work being done for some of you. Now keep in mind that if 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 you're somebody who was not aware of spell work, energy, intentions, thoughts have that much power. And there's somebody here, like I said, they're jealous of whatever it is you're creating. We saw that down here with the five of wands because it says money spells and binding spells. Somebody wants to keep you stuck. It's like you're going to create something and it's, it's going to be without them. This could also be issues with your family or immediate family, like just jealousy. Could be a Libra, all right? You have Libra energy here. This person was just doing something. But whatever needs to be made right will be made right. Low self-worth, need to do mirror work and affirmations here. Speaking to yourself positively. Yeah, you have a brand new beginning and this person is not. Whoever it is, they don't like it. You need to meditate. Somebody's watching you. We see that with the Page of Swords. This person who's watching you has deep sadness, regret, and remorse. They're heartbroken, but they need to take accountability. They're not taking accountability for their actions, all right? And then you also protect your energy, clearly, because somebody's thoughts towards you are just, they want you to fail, which is so sad, but there really are people like that. Family trauma wounds are rising to the surface. So as those memories rise to the surface, Cancer, that's a the time to immediately fall into prayer and ask the Most High to guide you and to take these memories and help you transmute them into your power. What can I learn from this situation that is causing me pain? How can I use this for my greatest growth? How can I use this, Lord, as a part of my divine plan? Okay, and then you'll start receiving downloads. Yes, yeah, success, promotions, spiritual promotions and investments, okay? You're going to start to see a shift in your outer world, okay? Time to review your relationships, third eye chakra. You need to pay attention to your dreams and your intuition. It's not lying to you, okay? It's true. It's not lying to you. All right. Then you have, you are a light worker. Share your gift. Patience is needed. And then we're going to do closing messages here and go through all the signs. You can trust this new person and you are not praying enough. All right. Let's take a look, Cancer, and see. We're going to go through all the signs that you may be dealing with, all right? Cancer, if you're dealing with the Aries, your message is unsure of desires, talk in person, sexually compatible. If you're dealing with a Taurus, your message says make the first move, improve communication, and grows in time. If you're dealing with a Gemini, it says very attracted, Forgiveness needed, immature. All right, if you're dealing with a Leo, or I'm sorry, a Cancer. Third party involved, feeling pressured, the answer is no. And if you're dealing with a Leo, so that was if you were dealing with a Cancer. Smothering for Leo, catching feelings, and perfect match. If you're dealing with a Virgo, be vulnerable, transformation, planning for the future. All right, Cancer, if you're dealing with a Libra, it says divine union, beautiful energy, betrayal. Ouch. All right, and then if you're dealing with a Scorpio, 
loving partnership desires only you freedom needed if you're dealing with a sag it says see each other soon heartbroken comparing options capricorn it's lust not love the answer is yes spiritual connection aquarius start a family just a crush open in layers and pisces discovery period stay together and they will call all right cancer i'm sending you much love